the press releases are saying that they're still going to go on with construction. They're moving equipment into their man camps. They haven't even missed a beat. My name is Faith Spotted Eagle Tonka Inajiwe, which is Standing Stone, and I'm on Ihangtua territory in South Dakota on my homeland. To bring people who potentially could be infected into our lands. That is total disregard for our public health and our lives. Coronavirus right now brings up memories, um, probably in our DNA, about the smallpox blankets that were brought along this river that were beside, along the Missouri River. The Mandan, Hidatsa, they were almost totally decimated. And so we have it in our DNA and our memory that this threat is coming again in the form of a virus. And so we're issuing uh, our words and our statements and our bodies to say, get out of our land, go home. It's already been proven that the man camps are a detriment to the lives of women. Myself, I'm a survivor of a, an assault. When I was 24 years old, some white men started making cat calls, calling me names like squaw, and uh, they, I was attacked and I had my leg broken. So this happens quite frequently. The wonderful 25,000 people that signed on promise to protect against the KXL pipeline, they uh, stood with us, they donated, they raised money, and they made possible the purchase of this beautiful little tiny house that has been decorated with love in honoring all the indigenous baby girls that have been killed. My precious, precious girls. The presence of oil development has a direct effect on murdered and missing indigenous women numbers. Canada has long proven this, that the Highway of Tears is a highway that has caused who knows, thousands of deaths of indigenous women. And uh, we have no doubt that that capacity is here. We're sitting at a historic momentous time where we're facing a double threat. And I don't think that uh, the governor uh, has our best interests in mind. And so if she did, she would ask those up to 5,000 people coming into South Dakota to go home. We are going to prevail because the prayers are strong and they're still traveling. And who says that a prayer only lasts a month? It could last a year. Who knows if what's going on now is not part of a prayer. So we, we will protect our water, our women, our children, and our families against TC Energy and the pipeline.